Good morning. It is Saturday, <laughs> December 27th or 28th. I finally get this camera to work. It is Wednesday, June 3rd, 2015. It is 4.17 p.m. and I'm missing Judge Judy. I haven't came on since Sunday. It's been a week. It's been a week, let me tell you. First of all, here's my hair, my wig that I bought last Thursday, I think. Let me turn around. As you can see, it's down my back and it has color. This is synthetic hair, actually. Um, it is really, really soft. Um, it has a part there. It's just a regular wig. It's not like, um, what do you call it? Um, lace front wig it's nothing like that it's just a regular wig full cap wig because I have no hair <laughs> I just needed a wig so um yeah so I decided to film in here since yeah I think it was Thursday when I last filmed in here and I still have some light right now since it's still pretty early <sighs> I don't even know where to start <laughs> um Today's my appointment. I did have a doctor's appointment this morning at 10 um, to uh, have lab work done, like for them to check my uh, blood and everything, all my stats. And um, my white blood count was still low, but it wasn't too low where they had to put me on antibiotics and restrict me for 48 hours. He left. Um... I've been okay all day. I came back home. Well, after he left, I came back home, worked for a few more minutes or a few minutes until like quarter to 10. And then I went to my doctor's appointment and uh, got my tests, results. Um, I got some IV fluids. And I got some nausea medicine. Cause and Amy has been um, taking care of me the last couple times and she has been just really tearing me apart. <laughs> she did she did she did do me a solid last week when she told me that the shot was less painful in my stomach I did appreciate that but I feel like my port has moved since last week when she gave me my chemo I still just feel like some type of way right now and then she was rushing she didn't even like flush the port afterwards like usually they flush the port before and after at the beginning and the end no she just took that needle out and sent me on my way anyways it's all good I was ready to get out of there ASAP anyway yes. as that's over so I actually am kind of looking forward to going to work tomorrow <laughs> retarded um so yeah, I might not. I might stay home one more day and kind of rest and then go in on Friday. I think I might do that. So yeah, I think I might just give my, myself another day because it's been a rough week. It has. So stepping back on why it's been rough, Carlton came in on Friday. I was feeling like crap on Friday. Um... And I guess I have already talked about this on Sunday because I did record that video. But on Monday, like I pulled myself together on Sunday and Carlton and I went out to eat and hung out. We went for a walk and everything. And, um, you know, I was fine the rest of the night. Sunday, Monday morning, I get up and I get dressed. 
I'm feeling fine physically and mentally too, I guess. I wasn't like on the verge of crying like while I was getting dressed for work. I mean, I didn't want to go to work, but I was just like, you know, it is what it is, basically. And um, I'm going to put on my hat. Switch out my look. This is what I wore to um, the doctor's office today. Anyways, so I get dressed, go to work. On my way to work, I get on Columbia Parkway. I break down crying. I pull it together. I'm like, I just need to just turn around. Then, right then, I, I thought in my mind, I should turn around and come home. No, I pushed through. I cleared up. A little ways down the road, I broke down again. Cleared up, pushed through. I'm just like thinking, what can I get? What can I do to get me through this day? What can I do to get me through this day? And I'm listening to the radio and just trying to find some type of something to get me through the day. <sighs> yeah, so I pushed through, went ahead and went to work. I made it to work, got there. A little bit after I sat down, I was just like, I was just feeling just really some type of way, <laughs> like salty for having to be there. And um, to me, don't ask me how I'm doing. Don't ask me how my week hat was. Don't say anything to me. That's what I was thinking. And so I sit down and I take out my computer and I'm just trying to push through. And I could feel like myself just being like really not in a good place, basically. Um, but I went ahead and I started, you know, my daily routine of running my report and whatnot. And I felt the tears coming again. And I'm like still trying to think, what can I do? I need something. Praying. Something to get me through the day. So I went to the bathroom because I just couldn't get it together. I knew I was about to break down. Went to the bathroom, cried it out a little bit. Like, I just maybe just need to cry it out. And so I pulled it together eventually, went back to my desk. I said, I can do this. Get back to my desk. I'm listening to Mogul Joe in the morning. And I hear a song. I hear the song that I love, that I used to love. Wait. Keep working. Keep working. A little later, I go to the bathroom again because I was just like, I need to. I don't know if it was, I don't know how, what time, how many times I went to the bathroom, but I know at one point, Heather came in, she asked me how I was doing, she threw I am, and I said, not good, and so, I don't know, I don't know, I, said, I think I might have said, I'm just trying to get through the day, and, uh, or hoping to get through the day, or something, I said, and then soon after that, I was like, okay. Because just the, just the thought, like I just can't, I kept thinking about Carlton is leaving. Carlton is leaving. That's all I was thinking, like he's going to be leaving. And just the thought of that was breaking me down. And I had asked him on Sunday if he could stay till Friday. He said he would. It's now Wednesday, but he's gone. <laughs> he had text, um... Beth and I told her I can't stop I said I can't stop crying and so you know she was texting me back and forth a little bit you know and even when she did when like she when she first responded like I was okay when I said I can't stop crying I pulled it together for that minute and then when she responded I just broke down crying again <laughs> and so I was she was like she said, where are you? And I, I think I told her, I just said, I can't do this. I can't be here right now. I just, it was no way. Um, so I got back to my desk because I was like, I just need to get back to my desk and send an I am to Heather. So I just packed my computer really calmly and left. <laughs> went down the stairs and walked even walking to the parking lot I was just crumbling slowly crumbling and uh, got to my car 
just started just crying, just crying. And um, left there and uh, just steady, uncontrollably crying. Like I could not stop. So I driving down the street and I pulled together for a minute and I'm just like thinking, I need to do something. I need to do something to get my mind off of this, off of my feelings, <laughs> something. So I was like, okay, I'll go wash my car. It was raining too. I'll go wash my car, not the outside, just the inside. And then I said, I'll just go to the movies. And then after a couple hours after that, after I get myself together, I'll go, I'll come home. Um, so that was making me feel better. And then Beth sent me a text and she was like, I can talk. If you need to talk, I'm really concerned about you. So I might have called, I don't know when I called her. I think I was probably getting on Columbia Parkway, yeah, when I called her. And, um... I don't know if there was any time from from work and home or the, the uh, car wash that I stopped. I mean, I pulled together here and there just a little bit, but I was just crying, crying. So I talked to her, and at one point she was like, she said, she started praying. <laughs> And I can't remember what she said, but she was just like, you know, what she said just completely just like the floodgates just opened, oh, just completely opened. And like now I'm just thinking about what she said in that state and how I was just like her words just like made me just overflow. And um, it was really sweet. And so, I don't know how I made it home. So I went ahead and went to, and I was talking to her, you know, when I could, you know, talk here and there. And she knew I was what I was saying. Like I was, I was actually able to talk through my tears. <laughs> and I was laughing here and there too because she was saying some stuff. And she was like, you know, I was just telling her, you know. I just can't stop thinking about my brother leaving. And she was like, thanks. Like, I feel like chopped liver. Like, <laughs> that she, like, I'm not, like, reacting that way with her. And it's just like, you're already here. She she was just being silly, though. And so, um, yeah, so I got to the car wash and cleaned out my car. Even cleaning out my car at times, that I, I was just, like, crying. <laughs> and then I um, I text Carlton to see if he was here on my way back because Beth was like you know you should go I was telling her I wanted to go get something to eat or I was going to go get something to eat and then go to the movies and she said you should have Carlton go with you and I was just feeling really ridiculous actually and, and so but anyways I still went ahead and came home and um and I was telling him about, you know, my whole episode, even though he, I don't think he really got the full extent of it <laughs> because I had pulled it together somewhat by the time I got home. And I was talking to him and I was like, I said, you can leave tomorrow. I said, because the only way I'm going to get past this is for you to leave. Like, I don't, I can't see around this. I can't even see around it. I'm so focused on you leaving. And I feel like I'm going to cry every day until <laughs> he leaves. But he's like, well, I'm not leaving. And he was trying to tell me that on Sunday, but I couldn't even get past that. I couldn't get past that, him leaving. It's, just, it's amazing how you get focused into that in something and you can't even get see your way out of it can't even see your way out of it like I'm just looking back on that now and how I was like stuck literally stuck in thinking that he was leaving and it's just like clearly he's just in Pontiac he can come back 
He's going to come back. I'm going to see him again. But in that moment, it was just him leaving. I don't understand. I'm going to I'm going to talk about it more once I get my ra- my mind wrapped around it. <laughs> but yeah, so um so yeah, he left this morning like I said. I've been fine. I've been fine. <laughs> since Monday after I, you know, got through that. Um, it's been a week and it's just Wednesday. I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and do my mask. Ugh. Yeah, I might have to shave this bang off some more. Bye.